What's up guys, welcome to today's vlog. Today what we're gonna do is go over a shorter women's haircut. Um, I think it'll be a lot of fun for you guys. We're gonna use the carving comb. This is a tool that I've been using in a lot of videos that we also sell on freesaloneducation.com. Now the reason I wanna go over it is because I've had a lot of people uh, asking questions about the tool, but it's also a really versatile, fun tool for creating texture in a haircut. So I wanna go over two of the questions that mainly come up before we do the haircut. First question is, what is the difference between the silver carving comb and the black carving comb? And as you can see right here, let's see if we can zoom in, the only difference is the teeth of the comb. So you have the carving comb wide and you have the carving comb fine. Uh, so really the difference is the comb. The cutting part of the carving comb is exactly the same. It's a 100% cut side and a 50% carve side. So basically what that means is if I cut with this side of the carving comb, I'm cutting 100% of everything that I'm holding in my hand. If I flip it and I cut with this side of the carving comb, I'm only cutting 50% of what is in my hand. That's great for creating texture, taking out weight and density. Um, that's what makes this such a versatile tool. The other thing that I do with the carving comb is I do a technique where um, I run the carving comb back and forth on my hand. The cool thing about that is it has a cutting side on both sides, so you can create um, different texturizing techniques, point cutting type techniques, and different things like that for creating texture. The other question is, um, how do you change the blades? The blades, this T part comes off the top, the blades slide out from uh, the carving comb this way, and you change them. There's two different blades in the carving comb. When you purchase a carving comb, it comes with five extra blades. Not sure why it's five. Uh, it should be six because you have to use two blades every time you change it. I do find that I, cut, I change the cutting side more than I change the 100% the side more than I change the 50% side. So um, you may not need to change both blades all the time but I try to change the blades at least every, pretty much every haircut, if not every other haircut. The blades are pretty cheap. Um, you can get 10 blades for like 10 bucks, so um, it's worth it to change the blades uh, with every haircut. The other great thing about the carving comb, and then we'll get into the cut, is that the reason it was invented was so that you could hold your comb, hold your scissors, <laughs> these are my scissors, hold your comb, hold your scissors, and have a razor all at the same time. So you have three tools in your hand for hair cutting at all times. Really four because you have the cut side, uh, the carved side, and the scissor, and a comb all in one. So that's why I like to have both because that way if I'm working with a more uh, tension type haircut, I'll have this one. And if I'm working with, I want wider teeth, I'm working with fatter sections, more thicker density hair, then I'll use the wide. I hope that that helps you guys with the breakdown of these tools. If you want one, uh, they have a great price on them, check out freesaloneducation.com. Let's get started with our step-by-step. -step. Here we go. Oh wait, I didn't show you the haircut. <laughs> so one sec, let me grab that. Okay, and this is the cut that we're gonna go over today. The thing I love about this is a nice short textured haircut. Um, it's shorter than a bob, but it kind of has that bob length, so it's a good in-between haircut if somebody's looking to go a little bit shorter. So we created that texture on top all throughout the back. So ton of texture in this haircut. You're gonna really, really love it. I believe you'll be able to use it a lot in the salon. So let's get started with the step-by-step -step so you know how to do it. Here we go, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think or if you have any questions. Here we go. All right guys, so we're gonna start off the haircut by using our Prepare Liquid Tool Glide. This is a product that uses sunflower oil and coconut oil to help smooth the cuticle, seal the cuticle down so that the razor glides right over the hair. It also helps with your sectioning as well and it helps cut down on frizz. So a great product for when you're working with a razor. So we're gonna clip it away. What I did was I created a triangle section on the top of the hair. I started at the recession point um, right on top of the head, followed back to the midpoint of the crown, creating that triangle on the top. And then I went from that midpoint in the crown down to behind the ear, drawing a diagonal forward line on both sides to section off the haircut. Trying to keep the sectioning as simple as possible 
uh, for you guys because you don't have to overcomplicate sectioning. Just make sure that you have a purpose for everything you're doing, keeping everything organized. Now here's our two choices for carving combs. I'm gonna be using both types of carving comb throughout the haircut. We're gonna start off using our fine tooth carving comb, then we're gonna move into the wide teeth later on in the dry cutting and texturizing portion of the cut. So this is a really simple technique in the back of the head. I'm gonna create layering, but I'm gonna hold everything at a low, low elevation. So everything straight down from the head using a heavy stroke with the razor the heavier the stroke, the more layering you get. So we're working on creating that shape in the back. I wanna pop in quite a few uh, nice short layer pieces and also create a ton of texture in the back. So this is what's so great about the carving comb is that I hold down the entire back of the head um, and just by uh, the amount of strokes that I do in the back, that's how much texture and how much layering I create. Then I move into the side of the head and I elevate everything straight out towards me. What this is gonna do is give me that higher elevation to remove more weight. I take my guide from the back of the head and I just start working that same pattern with the razor, nice heavy strokes, which is gonna give me those short pieces to the layering. But because I've elevated the hair so high, it also disconnects the bottom for me and gives me a nice, uh, keeps that longer length, preserves the length in the haircut. So we're creating that layering, the short layering throughout, but keeping that length at the bottom, which is what a lot of our guests want. They wanna have that longer length, but they like the layer and texture. Now I'm gonna switch it up with products today. This is Evo uh, Whip It Good. This is a really awesome foam that was sent to me um, by the Evo company. Um, so I've been playing around with their products a little bit. I wanted to do a, a, you know, a quick review of this. I like the hold. I like the condition on the hair. Um, so if you guys get a chance, definitely check out that product. It's a really nice foam. Now we're moving into our blow dry. Now, I, my choice for blow dry was my Ergo blow dryer, nice powerful blow dryer, and also the Paul Mitchell 413 brush. I love this brush, it's a nice uh, wide vent brush, so it allows a lot of air to the hair, and it doesn't flatten the shape of the haircut. So I really want to use the curvature of the head. I'm doing that flat wrap motion, and I'm using the, um, the vent brush to really lift it and add that volume in. So I'll just work my way around the head, pushing the hair back and forth. You're gonna notice I don't go just one direction because I wanna create um, that movement within the haircut. So now I've got this shape created. I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna use my Bricado Vibrastrate Iron. This is the iron I use on every haircut. Love the ceramic plates, love the vibration that it creates. It, it lessens the friction on the hair. So um, if you're looking for a new flat iron, definitely check it out. Um, but I'm gonna go through just smoothing. Notice when I smooth the hair that I'm just following the head shape. I'm not trying to bend the hair too much. That's not what it's about. I'm trying to prep this for the dry cutting portion. Now we're gonna go through, I'm gonna use my 50% carve side of the carving comb, and this is all really based on your eye. So how, where you want the layering to be a little bit heavier, you just go through, you pinch the hair, and you carve away just to really sculpt that shape in. It's one of my favorite things about cutting with a razor or a carving comb is just the ability to go in there and create the shape that you're looking for based on your eye and really see that shape come to life. All right, so now I'm gonna let down the top of the haircut. This is that top triangle section that we created. Um, add a little bit more of the Evo foam to it and then blow dry, flat wrap that around. So what you guys have noticed in some of the past vlogs, if you haven't watched them, what I've been doing is breaking down the haircut. So what I'll do is I'll do the bottom por portion of the haircut. I take it section by section. I blow dry that section, I smooth it, I finish the cut, then I move into the next section, cut that, and then keep going, so on and so forth. The reason I like to do that is because I like to see the actual shape of the haircut um, coming to life as I'm doing it. So now I've got this kind of heavier portion sitting on top of the head. We're gonna go through, do some texturizing with the carving comb. Um, we're gonna shift into our wide carving comb and create the bang area and the top layering. So I'm just going through flat wrapping with the vent brush, then finishing it with the Bricado Vibrastrate Iron, and then I'm gonna go through and start my cutting. So key thing here, I'm gonna section out what I've already cut because I wanna really just work on that top triangle section. So I take out the top triangle section on one side, um, 
then I'm going to start working and cutting, combing everything forward over to me. So this would be on the opposite side of the chair and just carving through. This is using the 100% carved side first. Then I'll go through and do a little detail work with the 50% carved side. So we're working through here, 100% cutting. Then I go through and now you can see me shift it. And just on the fringe, just on the edge of the fringe, I'm using the 50% carve side. A lot of you guys want to know how to create that kind of textured, um, shattered fringe look. The 50% carve side is the key ticket to doing that. So now I'm gonna go through, this is my texturizing technique um, that's very similar to point cutting. It really removes a lot of weight and adds a lot of texture to the hair. So what we're doing is just moving the carving comb up and down. It cuts on both sides, so you're getting cutting motion on both, both ways. So now I wanted to put it into slow motion to really show you guys how this technique works. So you can see that as I flip up the hair, I'm really pinching the carving comb between my thumb and my pointer finger and then allowing the back of the carving comb to have a little bit of freedom and movement in there, which allows me to flip it up and down. So this is very similar to how you would hold a drumstick. So if any of you guys out there have ever drummed before, this is definitely exactly where it came from. But it's just lifting the carving comb up, pushing it back down with the, your back fingers, your middle finger, and your ring finger, just flipping it back into your hand. So you can see the drumming motion and how that kind of works in there. So I take my section. I hold the carving comb pinched between my pointer finger and my thumb and I just work it up and down and taking out some of that weight and breaking up the heaviness in the shape. So it's a pretty cool technique, definitely something unique to the carving comb and, uh, and it creates a really cool look on the head. Now we'll go through, do our final little cuts in there. This is again, the freedom, depending on the density of the hair and how you wanna go about it. This is our Label M Texturizing Volume Spray. This is a pretty cool product as well uh, that was sent to us. So I'm just gonna go through there, add a little bit of texture to the hair, add that volume in there, and just separate the pieces using the product. It's got a nice little wax hold to it. Uh, it thickens the hair really well but it's not sticky. And that's one of the things I like most about this product. And that is our end result. Hope you guys like it. Definitely let me know in the comments below and share your pictures with me on Instagram, hashtag free salon education. Thanks guys. All right guys, and like always, if you like this haircut, then hit the like button, hit the share button, go to freesaloneducation.com, pick up a carving comb, and join our community. Go on fsesocial.com. Let me know what you think of this video and also get in touch with hairdressers from all over the world. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all of the support you give to this vlog all of the time. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching.